What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey672 coming to you guys with a video right now. I um, want to go over some news from yesterday going into today. Obviously, Zach Ertz, his name has been flying around. There has been rumors that Zach Ertz's name might be packaged up with Carson Wentz and a huge deal. Now, the Colts have their a lot a lot of interest in both players. They have a little bit more cap space, deep pockets for both players. But now another team is actually called about Zach Ertz, and that is uh, the Seattle Seahawks. Now, they're kind of cap-strapped right now, maybe a little bit of wiggle room around there. But with how much Zach Ertz is going to cost and, and wanting a new contract, the Seahawks are obviously going to have to make room. So the Eagles could actually make a good trade with the Seahawks for one of their players if they wanted, if they need some type of position and need. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But what makes it more interesting is that there are rumors right now that Andre Dillard, the former first round pick, um, at left tackle could be in the mix in a huge trade involving Wentz and Ertz or just Zach Ertz and Andre Dillard alone. Andre Dillard, none of it's really his fault. He's been injured. He got drafted and Jason Peters pretty much was put right in front of him. Um, and it kind of, he really had no shot. He played right. He, he started three games a couple of years ago and kind of shot his confidence out the, at the door when he played right tackle for that one game. And, um, yeah, it was bad. It wasn't good at all. Um, and star Jason Peters again in front, you know, Andre Dillard, Andre Dillard has been hurt a couple of times already, but you know, I think Jordan Mulata is actually going to win this left tackle position if that's the case, or the Eagles go down another route and draft Penny Sewell with the number six overall pick from Oregon. So that's another player that they, they could actually get. Um, there's a lot of things that go into this. So obviously, Indy wants Carson and Zach Ertz. The Seahawks are just interested in Zach Ertz, but um you know they'd have to make some significant space because they you know they have you know they have a little bit of cap space not much to really spend right now uh so there's a lot going on they have a lot of drama with russell wilson right now if he's staying with the seahawks or if he's going um you know there's a lot of things going on there but when it comes to uh the colts they have the deep pockets they have the cap space like i said before um you know zach Ertz. Uh, is was going to get dealt regardless, and I think the Eagles are going to try to kill two birds at one stone um, and get rid of Carson Wentz and Zach Ertz at the same time. But if you want to get rid of more cap space, um, and if you're trading a guy like Andre Dillard, a former first-round pick, I want to see what the Eagles actually get for that. I'm not saying they're going to get a first, but hey, if they get like a third-round pick for Andre Dillard in that if he's put into a big trade package, then yeah, that would be fantastic. I'm saying I'm not even saying a third round pick for this year, but obviously there's a lot going on right now. So what you're looking at here is you're looking at the Colts and the Seahawks, one with a lot of cap space, another team with no with barely any cap space or very little. Um, and you have Zach Ertz and Carson Wentz that the Colts want to put on their team. And then obviously there's Zach Ertz rumors flying around the Seahawks that they want him as well. But obviously there's a salary cap situation over there as well as us as well. So um, to trade him over there. And now um, with this trade package, if they can include, unless they trade these guys separately, they could trade er, you know Ertz to the Seahawks. They could trade Carson Wentz to uh, Indy. And at the same time, they could trade all three in Ertz, Carson Wentz, and Jordan Mulata. Now, I don't know. I mean, in Andre Dillard. I don't know if Andre Dillard has interest from the Colts. I don't think so. I think um, I think with the Seahawks, they pretty much have uh, been eyeing Andre Dillard uh, from the Eagles. That's a player that they would like to take um, with Zach Ertz, if that's the case, in a little trade package. So I wouldn't mind this at all. Um, th this, you know, if you get rid of Andre Dillard, obviously you lose depth, but at the same time, you could get a good mid round draft pick for him. This could actually have the Eagles picking Penny Sewell at, at number six. I mean, that, that could really, it could happen guys. And if they really, if they drafted Sewell at six, I honestly wouldn't be mad about it just because he's going to be a prime talent at left tackle in this league. And you know, the more we have, the you know, the more we have, it's just the, the better off we're going to be. I know, we you know, we don't know if Jason Kelsey's retiring at center, but uh, there's a lot of good things to take from this um, and just see where it goes. But I would have to see what the deal looks like. So, obviously, there's two teams interested in Ertz. 
with the Colts and the Seahawks. And with the Seahawks, they would like to be rumored to wanting to package up that trade package with Andre Dillard and Zach Ertz coming to the Seahawks. But obviously, cap situation uh, with the Seahawks is not fantastic. They have spent a lot of money signing Jamal Adams and, and getting some other guys in there now. So um, there's a lot of salary cap issues um, with the Seahawks right now. And the Eagles really can't afford to help them out and pay um, some of the deal unless there's some type of way that I don't know of that they can get something done without hurting both teams. Different story. And obviously Andre Dillard in that package wouldn't be a bad idea. Now with the Colts, obviously – I think they're interested in Carson Wentz and Zach Ertz in a big deal, big package, and a lot of picks are going both ways. Obviously, um, we're going to get more of the value out of the trade. The Eagles still want to get, you know, trade two. The Eagles still want two first round picks and a mid, you know, and a player. And if that's the case, then the Eagles um, are probably could are probably could get that if if Ertz is put into that package. If the Colts say, "Hey, we want Zach Ertz as well," we'll give you those two first round picks then, hey, I, I actually wouldn't really mind it whatsoever. So there's a lot really here to look at. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below with both of these trade packages, adding Andre Dillard to that mix. But if you add Andre Dillard to that mix, Jordan Mulata is the starter, or the Eagles are going after Penny Sewell with the number six overall pick if he does drop to there. Um, and it could happen, guys. They could draft a tackle this year. So a lot is going on for the Eagles. Obviously, with Howie Roseman, if we all know this, it's all about the trenches first before everything. But obviously, the money has to get spread out to other positions. We can't put a lot of money into our defensive line. We need to spread that money out between the whole secondary because besides Darius Slay, we have no secondary. But not to go off topic with it, but um, that is the truth. But hey, let me know what you guys think about both of these deals. And I'll see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly out, Peace out, guys. Peace.